Hey folks, so yeah, had um, a bit of luck. Um, actually, it's not really luck, it's more just waiting game than anything else. Uh, I have a collector friend who is slowly uh, selling off their collection, um, and uh, I've been lucky that I occasionally get the call. Um, and so this time I got the call and got some pretty great stuff. I will start out at the beginning of this video and saying some of this stuff is never going to make it into the store because some of it will go into my collection. Um, so wait until you see it in the This Just In video in the store. Now that's a different thing. You have to go to the store Instagram page or Facebook page. I put a new video up each week of what stuff is actually in the store. Um, this stuff, again, is just me, I don't know, showing off a bit, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, there's some really, really great stuff in here. Um, a couple of really pretty hard to find 90s pressings. And as uh, that day I went to the collection, uh, there was a value village nearby. And uh, I rolled the dice and went in and pushed my luck and uh, actually came up. I didn't get anything really great, but I got some pretty, you know, a few things. And I will actually tag that because um, I did film in the store a bit awkwardly. Um, and I will tag that at the end um, onto it. So if you want to see me pulling some of the stuff, because there was a couple of people around me. Um, I, I'm guessing this stuff had just been put out. Um, some of the stuff you see me pull, I don't end up taking because condition was a little bit, meh, you know, off. And if it's not that great of a record or that desirable, um, I usually just leave behind for somebody else because, you know, they might want it. Um, but yeah, we'll start with that first so I can show you that at the end. I know you all want to see the other stuff, but here we go first. So, um... Yeah, Fleetwood Max Tusk, I will always pick up. This is a personal favorite. There you can see the two ninety nine dollars prices on uh, some of these. This is a personal favorite. I watched the show as a kid um, after school. It was like on after Gilligan's Island, I think, uh, in reruns. So, yeah, it's great. I haven't listened to it to actually hear if you get to hear, but it says, um, you know, songs and adventures of TV's mythical hero. I just want to hear Newt. Um, <laughs> His voice was so annoying. Uh, Eddie Grant's... Oh, I put these upside down. Eddie Grant's uh, Killer on the Rampage. This is the one that has Electric Avenue. I get asked for this on a regular basis. Uh, the John Lennon Collection. These ones are in pretty good shape, too. The covers might not be the best, but the records were pretty good. Although this one wasn't. Um, but it's a mono copy of Revolver. First Canadian pressing. I am, I'm not going to leave that behind. It's not. It'll play through guaranteed. And it'll actually probably play through great. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Mono copies. Um, for some reason or other. Even if they look like they just have been. Like had a like ice skating party on them. Play and usually play pretty well. If you're not like an audiophile. And you need a perfect thing. And you don't have like some $10,000 system. Pick them up. Because it's worth getting. So there you go. <laughs> George Harrison. This is nice because it has a uh, little um, the hype sticker on the shrink, which is good. This Vapids. This one, the cover is a little bit uh, rough, um, but a cool record. Teenage Head. This is the um, texture cover. Sadly, has a bit of staining on it, but even still, somebody will want that. And then... That's a um, Vanguard collection I bought for myself. Uh, folk and Minstrelacy. I don't even know how to say that, but it was only $2.99. So I don't know what. And then this was probably the best one out of them all. Um, this is uh, Jimmy Rushing and the Smith Girls. And the Smiths is uh, Bessie Smith, Clara, Mamie, and Trixie. Uh, most people know Bessie Smith, but people, look at the players on here. Buck um, Clayton, Coleman Hawkins is on there. These are early, and these are like hard blues jazz uh tracks and it's a great recording um and again for 2.99 that's canadian eh um so probably around two bucks american now i think maybe yeah uh, i could i can't give you the pounds because even though i'm from the uk originally it was a long time ago i'm not even gonna guess i'm gonna say like pound 50 maybe probably close to that anyways um still great uh Great record to pick up. And again, if you wait to the very end, I will, because I have learned how to stitch things. Uh, 
I still can't like edit edit like a real person um, but I have learned how to stitch things together um, and at this point I think anybody who's following the channel kind of knows what to expect it's not this isn't high quality professional stuff this is just like a bloke who is buying records so this is the stuff yeah um, there are things on here that you spend your whole life looking for and uh, I have to decide what I'm going to keep and what not you don't find these collections that much anymore um, this stuff used to be in the wild like back in the late 90s even into the early 2000s you could walk up on this stuff in garage sales occasionally not anymore it's put away in collections and people keep their collections uh, this person is uh, purging um, and so slowly and I know what that's like uh, so um, I get the occasional thing through here so I took the labels out to show uh, the things out of the sleeve to show the labels um, this is the peel sessions um, any of the peel sessions are worth it this has a bit of staining down here um, but it is pretty clean outside of that the record itself is great let's see if we can find this is the UK pressing of it there's the label to show you um, again it's in pretty nice shape uh, and here's another one um, sadly has some water damage to the front but the records themselves are great and um, again when you see stuff like this if you don't need a perfect copy get it because you know it, it look that looks like mold it's not it's been neutralized it's been dry for years and years and years um and then those are the two there if i recall they're canadian pressings but still um right thing this was kind of neat it is just a, a single but it's um the last handsome fascination street and then there's another one there property of dance musique which probably came out of like quebec pictures of you extended remix uk pressing there classic album disintegration it's uk pressing again um i think he had a little bit of a, a water issue at some point or bought a collection that had stuff on there but still i don't mind that kind of thing myself personally um and you know let's see that it's Canadian pressing, just like Heaven Single, it's a UK, Fascination Street, I think that's Canadian. Let's see back here. Yep, Canadian pressing. Um, nice thing about the Cure is they put out tons and tons of singles. Uh, Head on the Door, this is a Canadian one, it's in excellent condition overall and this one might be just staying with me we'll have to see um this is the cure this is the uk and the mini lp as they call it um I'm on polydor you know what is this the dutch pressing yeah one of these i had two of them one of them is a dutch pressing and i think it's that one from holland yeah and then this is the regular one slight variations in the uh cover um and that one is what is it yeah it's canadian pressing version of it this is interesting this was only released in the u.s it's happily ever after it's a very early um collection of the two records of faith and 17 seconds unfortunately um <laughs> He must have lost the uh, 17 seconds, the version uh, for this, and then just stuck that in there because that's not, it, it is the right record. It's not the right label um, for this one. This is what the label would have looked like. Uh, this is the Faith, and it would have on the other side had uh, seven, the other one would have been just looked just like this, but with um, 17 seconds on it. Still pretty cool to have. Uh, the Cures, Let's Go to Bed, single, Canadian Pressing, Standing on a Beach, the singles, classic, um, and again, probably a Canadian Pressing. This is a, I believe it was a record store day. I'm not too familiar with newer stuff, but this was the double uh, picture disc release. I think it was a, um, yeah, it was, it was a record store day, um, double picture disc. 
not a hundred percent when this was released like 2019 or something like that um these are all have been apparently remixed um so that's kind of neat and here we go got clashes london calling uh two copies i believe of um uh, combat rock it's with the interior sleeve in there and everything like that most of these had their interior sleeve this one was $8.99 at Sunrise Records, and this one was $7.49, but it doesn't tell you where. Um, <laughs> so, even back then, there's prices. Okay, so this is one of the um, big heavy hitters out of this group. Mondo Bizarro, I think, was 90. Good Lord, I can't remember exactly when. But it was a 1990s pressing. Um, this is an original... Yeah, 92 right there. This is an original 92 pressing, uh, USA. I'm not a huge fan of this record, I'm not going to lie. It's, I mean, later Ramones stuff is, to me, hit or miss. I'm sure the Ramones fans are losing their mind when they say that. But it, it is kind of true. It is a good record. Um, but sadly, the prices on this are completely bonkers. Um, because it, again... Any 90s pressings for any what I would consider really good band or sought after band, just through the roof. Um, if you're a Ramones fan, you have to have a copy. Um, you know, like if you're like a Ramones completist, uh, but you know, it's available on CD still. I don't know if they've reissued or not. Um, this is uh, Ramones Leaves Home. This is, um, yeah, Canadian pressing. Rocket to Russia. This is the Sire Canadian first, I believe. I don't know why I didn't take that out. Clash, give them enough rope. Probably a Canadian first pressing. Now, this is a reissue. Um, and I can totally understand why, because I searched for a copy for years and years and years and came up short myself and never able to find one. Uh, he must have given up and bought um, the more recent reissue of them. Some more Cocteau Twins. Um... And then, but this, this is the other kind of heavy hitter in here. Four Calendry Cafe. Um, you don't see the original of this ever. Like it just, it just doesn't come up. Um, I think it was 93 or 90, oh yeah, 1993. Yeah, there you go on Fontana. It's a UK pressing. It is one of their best records they ever made, in my opinion, um, but I'm like a heaven and Las Vegas guy. Some people like the earlier stuff on 4AD, which I like too. But, um, this, uh, this to me was sort of the pink pinnacle of the twins. And a lot of people would argue with me on that, but, um, you can't cause I'm the guy holding the camera right now. Um, but feel free to argue in the, uh, comments and I'll fight you back. Uh, Cocteau Twins, Tiny Dynamite. Um, this is, I don't know if this is UK or Canadian. Yeah. Oh no. There you go. Made in Canada, Canadian pressing, um, Victoria Land. These are classic albums. I mean, you just, it's the kind of stuff you dream of finding, um, but sadly you don't very often. That's a UK pressing. Um, which one is this? I can't even remember. Oh, it's a single. Yeah, Loves Easy Tears. Okay, yeah, Cocteau Twin single. Um, Treasure, oh my god, this one is, I believe, a UK pressing, as far as I can tell. No, it's Kane. Duh, should have known that one. No, no, I don't know. I'm going to have to look. Um, but the cool thing is, it, it has a little bit of the shrink um, uh, hype sticker on there, Treasure, the album. Um, Evo is like one of my favorite Cocteau Twin songs. There's just something about that one that's just straight up great. Um, and then Jimmy Cliffs, uh, which was, you know, it doesn't really fit in with the rest of the stuff, but is such a good record, The Heart of They Fall. This is, I believe, a UK, no, US pressing uh, on um, on the Island label, I think. Am I right on that? I can't remember. Yeah, oh, Island is one of their subsidiaries there. Um, kind of cool. Pretty hard to find, actually. Uh, Soul Record. Uh, and this is early days. I'm thinking this one is like 
61 or 62, but I'm not 100%. Um, I believe several tracks from the Cleftones have been sampled over the years in hip hop and it's just great stuff. Um, and then these were some other things that really just <laughs> couldn't explain why I had them. So I just bought them because I get a lot of people who ask me from, for like Def Leppard so on through the night, uh, hysteria. It's, it's harder to find actually out of the Def Leppard, um, cannon. <laughs> This is Led Zeppelin 2, in pretty good, the, the, the sleeve itself, uh, not in the best of shape, but the record is in pretty good shape, and if I, be, I believe it is a red label, uh, I can't remember if it's a Warner or a Kinney, um, a Warner pressing, let's see and have a look there, I can't see that, it's really small, my eyes are terrible, you can probably read that there and see which one it is, distributed by either probably Warner or Kinney, but probably the Warner one. Um, Bob Marley and the Whalers, and then classic, uh, Van Halen. Some people argue the greatest debut record of all time. I'm not one of them. That one I won't fight you on. Um, so yeah, that was it. Oh my God, my knees. I can't get down that low and stay that low anymore. Um, so yeah, but it's still a pretty, pretty fantastic haul. Um, you know, small but mighty as they say. Um, if any of you guys have any comments about anything, feel free to leave them. If you haven't signed, uh, subscribed, I don't want to pressure anybody, but it would be nice at this point because I get like 90% of the people who watch aren't subscribed. Um, so there's a lot of y'all who, uh, you know, do watch the videos. Well, you may as well subscribe or don't again, no pressure for me. Um, so I hope you are all able to find some stuff, um, you know. Hopefully it's as good as this. Um, I did ask if I could film. Uh, no, the, the person doesn't want to be filmed. They don't want their stuff filmed. Um, and fair enough. There's a lot of people out there who don't. I'm still nervous about doing that sort of uh, clandestine, as it were. And I'm sure, you know, most people are like, just get over it. But hey, I'm Canadian and we're polite. <laughs> so, yeah. Um Hopefully, right at the end here after this uh, will be the thing of me clandestine <laughs> uh, filming at the Valley Village when I got that first stuff on there. So there you go. I'm a hypocrite, too. All right. Hope you all are able to get some good stuff in the next little while. Bye.